The high we all felt during the end credits scene of 2008's Iron Man, which gave birth to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it today, was something beyond words. This is because nerds love nothing more than a great crossover, and we were about to be inundated with a yet-to-be-determined number of big event comic book movies over the coming years. Previous to the MCU years, crossovers were mostly relegated to throwaway plot devices, hilarious cameos, and easter eggs. This is especially true for the movie and video game industries. There have been a ton of low-key connections built between pieces of media, most of which are blink-and-you'll-miss-it pieces of information. In this episode, I'm going to explore a familial connection between three separate video game franchises that even I was pretty shocked by. I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today we'll go over the family tree of Billy Blaze, aka Commander Keen. In September 1990, Gamer's Edge programmer John Carmack set out to create a side-scroll video game that would be able to operate using a home computer as opposed to a game console. At that time in the video game industry, home computer graphics could not handle the 8-bit feats that the then-extremely popular Nintendo Entertainment System could pull off. After doing work on what became known as Adaptive Tile Refresh, Carmack and co-developer Tom Hall created a game called Dangerous Dave in copyright infringement. To pull this off, they took the base game of Super Mario Bros. 3, changed out a few designs, and plopped in their new character, Dangerous Dave, in the middle of the action. After recognizing the genius of the concept, fellow programmer John Romero jumped on board with Carmack and Hall to develop the PC's side-scroll idea further. The team left Gamer's Edge and started work at Apogee Software, where they were immediately tasked with having a game ready for market by Christmas 1990. Using the ideas they already built with Dangerous Dave, the team released Commander Keen in Invasion of the Vorticons on December 14, 1990. The plot follows an eight-year-old fictional super genius named Billy Blaze who transforms into the heroic Commander Keen after putting on his older brother's football helmet. He then sneaks out of his house one night while his parents are out and travels to Mars to explore, only to be met with resistance from the Martian locals along the way. Kevin tried to write a joke about the gentrification of Mars here, but he thought twice about sticking his nose where it wasn't wanted, not unlike what Billy Blaze should have done before unwittingly beginning the colonization of the Red Planet. Unsurprisingly, Commander Keen and Invasion of the Vorticons was a success and spawned a total of four sequels between 1991 and 2001. The following February, John Carmack, John Romero, and Tom Hall, along with Adrian Carmack, began working together exclusively under the Apogee umbrella. Originally branding themselves as Ideas from the Deep, they eventually shortened their name to id Software and began work on other titles. The first big success was a retooling of an old platformer game that was originally released in 1981 and disappeared quickly without much attention. id Software released Wolfenstein 3D in 1992. Following the character William B.J. Blazkowicz, a spy for the Allies during World War II attempting to escape a Nazi dungeon, Wolfenstein went on to essentially define and influence the first-person shooter genre as we know it today. Not to outdo themselves, id Software followed up the success of Wolfenstein 3D the next year with what would become their most popular title ever, Doom. I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell anyone here how big of a franchise Doom has become over the last 30 years. The team at id would have even more successful titles with the release of Quake in 1996 and beyond, but we're going to keep our focus on Commander Keen, Wolfenstein, and Doom. Why? Because these three titles are connected in a pretty interesting way. While there have been easter egg references to Commander Keen in other video games such as Duke Nukem and Bio Menace, those are just for fun and inconsequential. In 2018, John Romero and Tom Hall confirmed that Billy Blaze, aka Commander Keen, is actually the canon grandson of B.J. Blazkowicz. Well, that wasn't exactly Mars-shattering news, being that information was a known but unconfirmed piece of the canon, what was shocking was the revelation that Doom Guy, you know, from Doom, is the son of Billy Blaze. Given the events that take place within the storyline of Doom, that gentrification of Mars joke from earlier is probably hitting a little different now. 
Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of Things You Might Not Know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!